Hey Fit Fam! If you want to learn how to have more effective workouts and feel better afterwards and move better, then definitely stick around to watch the rest of this video, which is going to be all about foam rollers, how to use them, what they do, and all the different types. So foam rollers are essentially just a tool to help you with self myofascial release or basically massage. They're just basically a tool to help you massage sore muscles in your body. Um, and what self myofascial release is, is basically helping to release knots and kind of wound up tissue that's in the fascia, which basically surrounds your muscles and organs. So when these little spots get tight, which can be referred to as trigger points or knots, when this muscle kind of bundles up, which can happen from overuse or poor posture or working out super hard at the gym, it causes this tension in your muscles, which keeps them from basically stretching and mobilizing the way that they're intended to. So the idea behind foam rollers is that they will break up that tissue and allow your muscle to be as elastic and flexible as it should be so that you can move without pain, um, so you can move more fluidly so you're not so tight, and just helps you feel better. The other benefit of using foam rollers, two benefits actually, is one, they can help you to warm up for your workout and get you really mobile and everything moving the way it's supposed to so that when you work out, you'll be able to use your muscles the way that they're supposed to be. So if you've got some really tight muscles, they can help loosen everything up and prepare you for the movements you're about to do. They can also help you to reduce soreness after a workout by using them when you're all done and rolling on those areas that you just work out. So an example of this might be if you have really tight hip flexors, then what that basically is gonna do is prevent you from a, um, getting full extension when you kick back your legs. So for instance, if you're trying to work out your glutes, then these are your legs and you're doing kickbacks this way, you can't get your leg back quite as far if your hips are so tight that it's keeping your leg pulled in and doesn't allow you for full extension and full activation in your glute muscles. Glutes, which means you're not gonna be able to grow them as much, to tone them as much, and that's the same in any part of your body. If you're restricted in some area, you're not gonna be able to use the muscle properly, which means you might be working out for hours with so much intensity and yet not really getting the results you're looking for because maybe other muscles are overcompensating or you just can't get that full um, extension or flexion in a certain muscle. So for something like a hip flexor, you could use a lacrosse ball. And basically you would just take it in this hip flexor area, lie down on it, and roll out those tight hips. Any tender area in the hips. So for all the details on how exactly to foam roll, I have a different video for, for that called How to Use a Foam Roller. So you can refer back to that video on exactly what the technique is and all the different areas on your legs that you can massage with a foam roller. So I won't go into all those details, but the basic gist is that you want to hold that foam roller on a spot for about 15 to 30 seconds. Pre-workout, post-workout, you might go a little bit longer. You don't want to hold it too long because it can start to aggravate the tissue. So you just want to loosen it up a little bit. And then once you're done foam rolling, then you want to stretch that area because the foam rolling, the effects of the foam rolling actually don't last that long. Most studies say 10 minutes if you're lucky. So if you just foam roll and then don't do anything else, you'll be more flexible for a bit, but it's not going to really help your mobility all that much, though it may help reduce soreness. So after workout, you want to foam roll that area and then stretch it. That'll give you the most benefit. Before a workout, Foam rollers are also great to just get the blood moving through your muscles. So working it on your back, on your legs, will help to get your body warmed up. This is also good if you've got really tight areas, again, like hip flexors. You can kind of focus on those if you're about to do like a leg or glute workout. Um, and you can even use the foam rollers in between exercises or in between sets. So say you're doing squats, but you're really tight in your glutes or in your hips or in your quads. Um, you can roll out just up and down on a roller just kind of get the blood flowing through there You don't have to hold it super long because you don't want the muscle to relax too much But you can just roll up and down for a little bit between sets and then right back and that's been shown to really have the most benefit Is using it before a workout and during a workout to keep all those tight areas really loosened up So you can get a full range of motion through any exercise 
So there are a ton of different types of foam rollers. I don't have them all, but I've got a lot of the main types. The first one would be this kind of most flexible foam roller. A long one, you can use this for just stretching. So you might use this for like a back or chest workout or after you work out to stretch and just lie down across it to open up your chest and stretch out your back. You can also kind of do some movement up and down through your shoulders to just get those areas activated and warmed up before a workout. And then great for stretching out post-workout. These are also really good for learning balance and proprioception, which is basically body awareness, kind of learning where your body is in space, learning how to balance yourself, learning how the different parts of your body are feeling, which side maybe feels stronger or tighter. And this just kind of helps you be more aware of how your body feels and how it's moving, which will allow you to get, again, much more effective workouts if you can really feel and understand what your body is doing and how you need to correct in response. So these are great if you are just foam rolling for the first time, because foam rolling can be rather painful, unfortunately. Um, it's basically you're finding these tender spots in your muscles and just holding it there. So it can be pretty uncomfortable because you're basically working on painful, tight, sore muscles. Um, so this is good because it's a little bit softer that you can use when you first start foam rolling to get used to it. Then there are also basically the same thing, but in a half size. Same idea, it's just a little bit smaller, easier to work with if you're not lying across it to stretch. Then there are things like this one, which is one of my favorites. This is a two-in-one foam roller, so it actually comes apart. Just twists apart, so you can take this to travel or share it with a friend at the gym. Um, but this is almost long enough to lie across as well. And this one, as well as many other foam rollers, um, have bumps or some have a grid, different textures. So this has these spiky bumps. They're a little bit flexible. They're not super hard, but when you start foam rolling with it, it definitely feels hard. So this is great for something like the calf muscle or the hamstring, where sometimes these soft foam rollers or the just plain, um, like this one that's high density, it's really good for quads, for the back, for the outer thigh, inner thigh. But sometimes, at least for me, areas like the calves and the hamstrings, they just, this doesn't do a whole lot, especially on like this just thick, tight muscle in the hamstring. So I like these ones with the spikes because they really dig into those areas and they can work around. Like in your calves, you've got multiple muscles here. In your hamstrings, you've got multiple muscles. So these, anything with kind of a texture, a grid, bumps, spikes like this can kind of dig in and around the tissue and the muscle a little bit better. Where with something like this, you're a little bit more restricted and it can't quite get into those nooks and crannies as well. So these I love. I tend to use this on my calves, my hamstrings, my quads. And if you don't know, calves is just this bottom part of the leg. Quads is the front of your thigh, hamstrings is the back of your thigh. This one I might use for something like my outer thigh which you can kind of roll on the front or along the back, but when you're rolling sideways this way, this tends to be one of the most sensitive areas for most people. So I like this for that or the inner thigh. This is also great for just lying back across to stretch out and kind of crack your back. Just like this. Or you can cross your arms over and kind of hit the the rhomboids and the traps a little bit more, those muscles in your back right around your spine. So I really like using that for those purposes. So that's kind of the general idea of foam rollers, but there's a lot more um, muscle therapy tools out there. So then you get into some of the funkier ones, like these, and like this. So this one is cool, I really like this. It's got two handles on it, very similar to this one where it's got the spikes. But I really like this one for things like the shins. This is an area, at least for me, that gets very tight. So this is helpful to kind of get those areas where it's a lot harder to do these on one of these bigger foam rollers because you kind of have to kneel and hunt your whole body over the foam roller and it's just a little bit difficult. So it's really good for getting into those. It's great for doing the quads, the hamstrings, 
great for if you're just kind of sitting on a chair, sitting on the couch watching TV or something. It's very easy to get into some areas that are a little bit more difficult that way because it's also a little bit smaller. You can even use it on things like your forearms, like if you're working at a computer a lot and that gets tired, it's a little bit easier to move and manipulate something like this. So I really like this one. Um, things like this lacrosse ball, so this is specifically for foam rolling, but you can also get just a basic lacrosse ball, but these ones I really like for getting into very specific tight areas of the muscles. Um, so this is good, I use this a lot for something like those deep muscles within your glutes. There's a lot of muscles there and around the shoulder blades. So there's some areas that are very difficult to get with just a standard foam roller because you kind of need something that can get in and around the tissue and the bones and the muscles a little bit better. So this is really good for something like just setting it underneath your glute muscles and rolling like you would with a normal foam roller, but getting it a lot deeper uh, and being able to specifically target certain areas. It's a little bit harder um, with that. It's also really good if you lay on the ground and put it right back behind your shoulder blades. So you can set it down and just place it right around the shoulder blade and then kind of move around that way, which is really good for getting into commonly tight areas like up in the neck, back around the shoulder blades, right along the spine. These are really good for that as well as the hip flexors, the calves, um, pretty much anywhere. You wouldn't necessarily want to use this to foam roll out like your whole back or quadriceps necessarily because you can do that with these, but these are really good for targeting those like deeper, hard to reach areas. You can also take something like this and just put it in your gym bag, which is one thing that I like about it. It's very compact, great for travel, even easier than some of these. Although they're small and you can travel with them, something like this is really easy to just toss in your gym bag or your purse and just kind of use it during the day if you're feeling really tight. It's also super firm. Um, and that's another thing with foam rollers is you kind of, you can vary with the intensity. So, you know, something like this is really firm. Something like this high density roller, really firm. Um, and the firmer you go, the more it's gonna hurt. But typically the more experienced you get with foam rollers and the more you work out, the more you need a really dense roller. Whereas something like this is a lot more give to it. It's a little bit more squishy. Um, so it tends to be better for just stretching or balance work, or if you're really sensitive and really new, um, or even maybe that outer thigh area again that can get really tight. But these firm ones are really gonna do a little bit better job in digging out those knots for you. Um, then there's ones kind of similar. This is same idea, but it's got little nubs on it. It's a lot smaller. This is actually for your feet. And it's very easy to neglect and forget about your feet, but between workouts and, you know, if you're a woman and you wear heels a lot, it's very easy for those muscles at the bottom of your foot to get really sore. So this is great to just use at your desk or at the end of the day, sitting on a couch, sitting on a chair, just put it under your foot and roll out those tight muscles. And the last tool I have is this crazy little contraption um, from Back Joy is this one. I think other brands make it as well. But this has got all kinds of little knobs on it for just about any way that you could think of foam rolling. So this will get things like your lower back, your upper back. This kind of, this one kind of digs it. It's a little bit more of like that spike design. It's more of a circle. So this can be really good for, again, those shoulder blade areas. So you can hold it this way. It's not quite so hard to work as when you're laying on a floor with something. And just hold it this way, kind of pull in towards that muscle and to get that worked out. You can also use it kind of around your body this way to get into like the obliques or right around your spine and get kind of this back area that otherwise it's hard to get to. Um, it's got some knobs where again for your feet, you can stand on it and kind of work out those areas. Um, all kinds of little, just you know, long ones, short ones, just all kinds of stuff you can kind of go around your body and you know, you can still get into the glutes this way, you can get into the upper back. Really good for like the neck, where you've got some of these knobs up here. Get into some of those tight areas that, you know, the neck can get really tight from just sitting at a desk and looking at a computer all day. And 
um, you know, or driving. It's just that gets really tight and that can lead to headaches and just all kinds of issues. So this is a really cool little contraption to be able to work on things yourself without having to have someone behind you, massaging you, and getting all those muscles. So that's just kind of a general quick overview of the idea of foam rollers and all the different kinds that there are and what you can do with them. So it might seem a little excessive to have so many types, but honestly, I really use almost all of these on a regular basis. Um, before workout, after workout, even just kind of on the weekends when I have some free time, maybe watching TV, I'll foam roll and then stretch, um, which it will just completely make you feel 100% better. You might find that you know you roll out your outer thigh and suddenly your lower back doesn't hurt so much. Um, or you're feeling tight in your hips from sitting all the time and you stretch that out and foam roll and you'll feel so much better. So those are just some of the, the types that I like to use. I definitely recommend getting a few different types. You can hit different muscles in different ways. And the more you use them, the more you'll start to figure out kind of what your body needs and what feels best for you. So um, again, most of these are from prosourcefit.com. Um, the rest are pretty much just buys from Amazon. Um, so I'll put that link below. I hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions or comments on this, please leave those down below. And I will see you here again real soon. Thanks for watching.